Greetings, uh, Technical Medomedics, K12 Learners of the Eastern Cape. Uh, presenting this lesson today to you is Mr. Mambofu from Oar Tambo Inland. Uh, here we shall be dealing with a very important topic, which we, 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 we normally say it harnesses the blind spots because it opens the doors to all the contents of mathematics. Yes, we are talking of technical mathematics, which is related to mathematics. So we shall be dealing with algebra and solving quadratic equations in, in technical mathematics, which is not very different from that one of mathematics. Through algebra, because it is opening every uh, possible challenge that we have and we are able to solve all the challenges in mathematics through algebra. Every topic can be solved algebraically or it's possible to solve it algebraically. Which, uh, the topic, uh, it normally covers 25, 25 marks of 150 marks in paper one in your technical mathematics. So we're looking at a lot of marks which if uh, as the, the learners in grade 12, we are able to take them, then we shall be able to rise higher and higher in our performance in mathematics or in technical mathematics. We will be looking at the low-hanging fruits. In fact, my presentation, if I were to, to, to allude to it, will not be necessarily solving the quadratic equations, but we shall be looking at how do we identify the kind of a quadratic equation at your disposal because most of them are not. Our learners fail to, under, to, to, to answer the questions on that question one solely because they do not even know what kind of a quadratic equation is, is given to them. So this lesson is going to open you so that you are able to understand the kinds of, uh, of the quadratic equations that we have. As you can see here uh, in the screen that is in front of us, we are looking at solving quadratic equations. There are 10 ways by which you can, uh, by which uh, the, the, the questions on, uh, you know, quadratic equations can be asked. One is that of a C. As you can see, there are 10 points there. It's that of a C. What is a C? Let us look at a C, uh, which is a common factor. It means the easiest that can be given to you. It's when you are given a quadratic equation with a common factor. So as a learner, you should be able to identify the kind of a quadratic equation because the moment you are able to identify it, it means you will be able to choose an appropriate way of solving it. But if you cannot identify the kind of a, of a quadratic equation given to you, it means surely the solution that will be coming will be an, un, uh, will be an incorrect solution which leads to our learners losing a lot of marks. So let us look at the common factor which is uh, abbreviated by C. And then the second one is F. Uh, if the examiner has not given you a quadratic equation that has got a common factor, the examiner may opt to give you a question that, uh, that is in factor form. That F stands for the factor form. How do you solve uh, you know, a factor form? We shall be dwelling uh, into that question and, and then looking at how do you solve all those, but I'll just first of all explain all of them up to the end. Then we begin to uh, look at the examples and exercises that relate to these. So F is the factor form. We shall see what we mean by a, a factor form. S is the standard form. You know, there is the standard form, the third one, and the B is the brackets. You know, uh, and uh, you've got your D there, the division. Uh, if you're looking at board mass there, your division, you've got your multiplication, you've got your addition, you've got your subtraction, you've got your exponential, you've got your radical, as well as the simultaneous equations. Those are the kinds of equations that will always be uh, set in every uh, paper one question paper in technical mathematics, and it contains 25 marks. So let us look at them now one by one, uh, starting from the first one, which is the common factor, 
method. I mean, uh, the common factor method. Uh, look at number one. The, it, says, it says the solve for x, right? And uh, you are given the equation there, x squared plus 5x is equal to 0. Every time uh, my grade 12 uh, technical mathematics learners, whenever you are required to solve a quadratic equation, or even if it is not a quadratic equation, one, once you are, you are required to solve, the very first thing that you need to do is there a common factor out of what is given to me. So look at this expression, the left expression of x squared, uh, plus 5x is equal to 0. Is there anything common there? And you can see that, of course, there is something common. So to solve it, what do we do? Because there is an x, 1x, out of that x squared, and there is x from that 5x. Then take out the, 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 you know, the common factor, which is your x. There is the common factor x that we have. So please kindly take it out. That arrow is an indicator that we are really taking that common factor away because that is another step that normally uh, leads our learners astray when it comes to taking out the common factors. Some would, would, would cancel and end up leaving nothing, uh, yet this is a division when we are actually taking out a common factor. So we indicate that common factor there, and then you take it out. There it is we've taken out the common factor. Then inside the brackets, right, what is actually left out or what is <coughs> remaining after you've taken out the, the common factor. So there you can see your x squared. Uh, there, if you divide it by that common factor x, you, you are left with your x and your 5x there. If you are taking out the x there, and then you are actually left with a positive 5 is equal to zero. And that is how we can begin to solve a common factor method. Then the next step that follows there is, is indicated by, uh, you know, uh, by, by, by the tick there, that you get a mark as soon as you are able to take out the common factor and you leave, uh, you leave it in factor form like that, surely a mark uh, is guaranteed to be, to be coming your way. And then this is in a factor form. What do we mean by it being a factor form? Once you have got a, a, a certain, you know, uh, a factor multiplying another factor, and all that equal to zero, then we say that equation is an equation because it is equal to it has an equal sign. So if you have got a particular factor multiplying a particular factor, equating it to zero, then we say that is in a factor form. So this one is in a factor form because you have x into x plus 5, and that is equal to 0. Once it is in a factor form, how do you solve it? You remember the second kind of a quadratic equation. We said it was a factor form quadratic equation. The first was a common factor form, where there is a common factor. And once you take out the common factor uh, from your quadratic equation, it becomes a, a factor form. The factor form is si solved simply by equating each of those factors to zero. So you take your x, you equate x to zero, you take your second factor, your x plus five, you equate it to zero. And then it is in simple form now, your x is equal to zero or your x is equal to negative five. Our study here so that when we build up for the, the coming activities, we are able to understand it thoroughly, otherwise, the very first method is a common factor method, which leads to the factor form at the end of the day. Proceeding and going forward without taking a lot of time, the factor form, as I've just alluded to the previous example, the factor form, when you've got your factors multiplying each other, when everything multiplies everything and equating it to zero, that is called a factor form. I must indicate, however, to, to, to my grade 12 learners that a misconception from the previous one, we can come to this one, that x squared plus 5x is equal to 0. Most learners, what they do, they, they look at this, it's a binary, I mean, it's a, it's a binomial expression. They end up adding a plus 1. They want to make it a trinomial. Why do we have to change it? Because now you are changing the equation. 
The equation was given as x squared plus 5x is equal to 0. Do not change the, 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 the equation. Uh, resolve it as it is. Make sure that uh, you, are, uh, you understand the types of the quadratic equations that we have. So then we have got the factor form. The factor form, how do you solve the factor form? You take each factor, you equate it to 0, and then you solve each one of those. The third one, uh, there is a summary here which we shall have to look at as to what is it that you need to, to, to identify a factor form and a common factor uh, method. There are even ex exercises that you would have to work on so that you drill yourself on solving these. This is also a factor form. There are three factors multiplying each other and that is equal to zero. All of them equate them to zero and then you solve your quadratic equations. In our next class, uh, please make sure that you uh, you you you, are, you come and, and and observe us as we shall be continuing with the the quadratic equations, dwelling more now on actually solving the quadratic equations one by one. Here we just wanted to illustrate the different types of quadratic equations that we have, so that whenever you encounter a question with a quadratic equation, you don't fall astray. And uh, please practice all these exercises because. With mathematics, it's not a spectator subject. It's a subject that requires participation. It's unlike sports, it's unlike soccer. You don't have to, you know, only clap hands for the person who's doing it, but you are the one who has to do it. Uh, thank you very much, my fellow grade 12s. I wish you every success in your academic endeavors. Thank you. Goodbye.